And it's Rutgers researchers and colleagues who are making a big impression in the science world. Working in Kenya, they've discovered one and a half million year old footprints that look like ours, evidence that could shed new light on human evolution. The discovery is considered big enough in the field to rank as the cover story in tomorrow's issue of the prestigious journal Science. Describing this rare find, science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan has the story. The footprints were found at Kubi Fora, a research dig and field school run by Rutgers in collaboration with Kenya's National Museums. Well, Anthropology uh, professor Jack Harris, based Kenya, here in New Brunswick, yeah, is co-director of the project. Uh, Rutgers undergraduates did much of the painstaking excavation in sedimentary deposits, ancient riverbank mud that dating techniques say was laid down between 1.51 and 1.53 million years ago. Along with animal tracks, these sediments preserved the oldest impressions of human-looking feet found to date, recording the passage of several different individuals. This evidence suggests not only that they were built more or less like us, but also that they walked with essentially a modern human gait. The, the first feature t that's so distinctive and, and makes us so human-like is the actual size of the print. So it's got a well-rounded um, heel and uh, it's got the longitudinal arch here where the weight is transferred from the back of the foot to the front of the foot. It's got the ball of the foot here and then it's got the toes parallel. Uh, to the big toe there in the, f in the front. This is part of a trail and that's again what makes this uh, so unique so that we can get into, into questions about uh, gait as well, the distance between the, the footprints. Harris relates the prints to a previously discovered skeleton from roughly the same period, the so-called Nariacotomy boy, which shows more human than ape-like limbs and proportions. There were no foot bones preserved with the Nariacotomy specimen. So these complement that famous find of a skeleton. In a sense, they're like putting flesh on the bones. We'll have more on this discovery in tomorrow's Science Report. Patrick Regan, NJN News, New Brunswick.